Yeah, as you can see on our presentations here, it's thriving in a hyper-connected world. Uh, what that means is actually it's all about transactions moving to real time. That's mainly happening in its payment space, but also in trade there's a lot of initiatives. It's about digital ecosystems, different partners collaborating. That's probably for us as China Systems the main theme of Cybers. All those partners who provide different technologies, how we can interact with them, create a better, better customer experience, create real-time transaction vis visibility on trade transactions and on payment transactions. It's one of the key themes. Well, we, we're obviously demonstrating our standard solution to start with Examples Enterprise, our back-office system, and Customer Enterprise, our portal solution. However, we've got two major new developments that we are showcasing this year. The first one is actually that we've created a, an interactive dashboard on Examples Enterprise, which is actually built on an open API framework and it allows us to actually interact with external services and data repositories to actually present those to the user. We also have an analytics layer, a data analytics layer built into it. So we can not just present that data to the user to actually to inform him about the transaction you need to process, but you can also perform intelligence on it. You can also present information to him beyond, far beyond what is a standard transaction. So that interactive dashboard with the API layer is number one. The second big development that we're showcasing this year at Cybos is our Voltron integration demo. So we've, we've immediately actually proven that we, it is very easy for our solution to be integrated with distributed ledger uh, platforms. We've done that with Hyperledger, but we're also doing that with our three, with the Voltron platform. So it took us in total about three weeks to actually develop this. So we've done this in a way that we've actually used exactly the same solution that we use for our standard trade processing. So for our Swift connectivity, our Bolero connectivity, interaction with other trade platforms, we've simply created a Voltron adapter into our Exembill service layer. And from the user's point of view, it is fully transparent. So you can actually process LCs via the Swift network, or you can process LCs automatically via Voltron. It's all driven by party profile settings and transactional settings in a fully transparent way. That's a big question. I think there's a lot going on in trade right now. But obviously one of the key things, one of the most realistic things that will happen is this collaboration. Mm -hmm. We're collaborating with a number of partners already, like TradeStream, where we've integrated our solution with an OCR AI engine for document checking and examination. Uh, we're more than doing press releases. We actually do the integration. We have the APIs in place, the same thing with Voltron, we can showcase the solution, we have all the APIs for that. So we're going to intensify collaboration with other fintech partners, especially those which are part of ITFA already, but with any new partners who actually generate value added surface in the trade ecosystem. So that's one big development where the real big investments in trade will go, be going the next couple of years, in my opinion, is that artificial intelligence, but also Internet of Things. There's a lot of possibilities in the trade ecosystem in terms of using IoT devices to actually provide information to back office systems in terms of where are the goods, what's the quality of the goods, what's the condition, what's the physical location, to track inventory. Uh, corporates can have devices to do that. All of that information can go into databases. That data can become available into our system through our analytics layer and we can actually use that provide to provide proactive services to our customers and end users.